Okay, <clears throat> so I've uh, just spent half an hour of the tutorial telling you how to uh, do some editing work in Pro Tools and um, I'm going to go and zoom out. I've now finished off the track, I've kind of cleaned it up. Um, so all the additional gaps which I didn't get around to doing before I've now completed and um, I'm now zooming uh, out so that I can see um, there you go, zooming out so that we can see the uh, entirety of the track. Uh, in fact what you might want to try if you double click on the magnifying glass tool, which is called the zoomer tool, um, it will uh, it will stretch or compress the view so that your you know the, the entirety of the uh, regions on the screen will fill the screen. Um, which can be quite useful, so you can see your entire session uh, laid out in front of you. So the next thing to do, obviously, would be to uh, bounce your region to a single file, because at the moment what we have is a series of regions which have been edited, um, hopefully well, together. Uh, and now we want to make a single uh, sound file with that um, data. So to do that uh, you can, well, it, it depends how much of that data you wanted to uh, bounce to disk. Bouncing is basically to do that, the process of uh, creating a single file, single sound file from a, uh, a session. To do that you can uh, either press command A in order to select the entire session. That's fine, um, except if you are, for example, and this is perhaps preempting um, future things that we'll be looking at, but if you had reverb applied to a track, that actually could prove problematic because the reverb might extend beyond the end of your last region. Um, I'm hoping I'm not confusing the issue by saying that, but. Uh, you can imagine that if you've if you've applied particularly heavy reverb or a delay to your entire track, which, well, frankly, I kind of hope you won't, because I suspect that'd be a bit boring. But um, <clears throat> you might find something with delay anyway. You might find that you know if you've got a delay that ha is delaying this particular uh, attack, then the delay of your process might go on longer than the end of your uh, sound file or your region here. In which case you'd need to extend that selection to accommodate that, and you'll have to do that by listening. Um, Pro Tools won't tell you how long it's going to go on for, but um, hopefully uh, you can use your common sense there. So drag it, you know, basically make a, a selection that accommodates the amount of sound that you want to uh, bounce, and then you go to File and Bounce to, and in fact in this instance it only gives you the option of bouncing to disk. Um, there's a quick key, uh, quick key command for that as well. So click on that, and it comes up with a uh, a dialog, which um, well, a lot of it's self-explanatory. The bounce source will be analog one and two, which are your output is your output channels, uh, as you will see on the mixer. Um, File type, the likelihood is you'll be using WAV again. Um, an alternative might be IF or MP3 will obviously uh, apply a, a compression to your file. So that's not to be used unless you're exporting to, um, uh, to a, I don't know, uh, a, an iPod or something like that. Uh, you can export to QuickTime. SD2 is essentially obsolete. It was um, DigiDesign's own format which nobody seems to use anymore and isn't in fact recognized by several platforms. So ignore SD2, WAV is probably your best bet, so we'll leave it on that. Uh, multiple mono, this is uh, if you want to re-import, say, to a different Pro Tools session, you might well want to export as multiple mono. That is what will give you your .l, .r um, output channels. Um, but the alternative, well, two alternatives, one is to, to sum your uh, output to mono. I can't imagine really why you'd want to do that because uh, if you're working in stereo, you're working in stereo. Um, and then the, the, 
the stereo interleaved option is one that you would use if, for example, you wanted to bounce to, sorry, to uh, to record or to save this to a CD, to an audio CD, um, where it would need to be a single file. Now, do please remember that, um, because if you save as multiple mono files, try to save it to a disc or to a CD. Your your audio CD will have two independent tracks on it at each mono um, of the length of your mix. So uh, that's not what you want. So you want a stereo interleaved file, which is a single file uh, which contains both channels. So in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. Um, resolution, uh, again, it depends on your destination, really. If, if you want to keep it at the same resolution it's currently at, then obviously, because this session is in 24-bit, we'll leave it at 24-bit. Um, if we wanted to uh, burn to a CD, we'd need to convert that to a 16-bit file. Um, quite why you'd want to use 8-bit, uh, I think is, well, I think it's highly unlikely now, um, because 8-bit uh, really isn't used much anymore. Um, and obviously, you can pr com compromise your quality significantly by going to 8-bit. Uh, we will, of course, talk about bit rates in class. So we'll, for the moment, I'm going to leave it at 24-bit. Sample rate, you'll leave at 24, uh, sorry, 44.1 kilohertz. Um, and then the conversion process, frankly, I don't think it really matters whether you do it during or after your bounce, but I shall leave it at convert after bounce for now. OK, bounce that, and uh, it asks you to save it. So I will, I will call it editing bounce. And I'll put my initials on as well. So as I practice what I preach, um, and I will save it in my main folder. So, um, somewhat irritatingly, Pro Tools does not have an offline bounce function. Uh, now, it may well be that the quality is better for it doing it in real time. Um, I'm not sure whether that's still the case. It might have been uh, 10 years ago, but I don't believe it's the case now. However, that's the way it does it, so we live with that. Okay, uh, so I've, I cut out a bit there um, because I didn't think you'd want to hear the whole piece. Uh, but now if we go to, the, uh, to our main... Um, folder, you can see editing bounce that I've just made. Um, and that's that, so you've bounced a disk.